The high point of President Muhammad Buhari's campaign in the run-up to the 2015 general elections were the revamp of the economy, fight against the insurgency, security of lives and property. He also promised to wage war against corruption. These Nigerians say are already manifesting in the second year of his administration. No change without a cost. They will say there's going to be a change, there's a cost to it. Change means going away from the usual to the unusual. And of course you know that when this government came in at the, at the center, we didn't envisage what we met. And naturally, somebody, the same people that were paying dearly for the recklessness of the previous government, will also play for the correction of those recklessnesses. And that's what is happening. So if we must be sane, if there must be sanity, we will pay for it. But it's just for a while, I want to assure you, very soon we'll get to where we're going. You should realize that this present government is doing its best to solve all the problems. The problems are many. They are enormous. It requires a lot of witty planning a lot of uh, maneuvering to get many of the problems solved. The change which is we are which we are doing now, which we are witnessing now, is the bedrock of all the other changes that is going to be uh, obvious to people. So it's when people want change, they want it as quickly as possible. But when you are looking for change, you are looking for things to come in various phases of life. To overcome challenges is not easy. To destroy is easier than to build. If we want to deceive them, if we are the we want to deceive Nigerians, then we will cover up a lot of things. We will be talking about a lot of things. But if we know that we really want to move Nigeria forward, it means we have to revisit those things that we have abandoned in those days. Meaning that the fall in the price of crude oil is a blessing in disguise. Now we can now think on our own, regenerate our nation, go back to the basics. They also argue that if Nigerians could support the various policies of the federal government, the nation would be better for it. I would say we all just need to join hands together and rebuild to make the change effective. To make the change effective, we all need to work together and work hard. This government continue with live the way they are going and where they are able to tame all these things, fight corruption, um, develop infrastructures, Nigeria will change. The change the fruit will come. The only thing they don't I will appeal to Nigerians to be a bit more patient. And many of these problems will be solved. Nigerians were also advised to put aside ethnic, political and religious differences in order for the nation to move forward and assume its place as a leading democracy in both Africa and globally. Tundio Lanero, OGTV News.